Tonight, people in Florida are bracing for impact. Many are being forced to evacuate their homes. Now, this was a look on the interstate highway earlier today. This was just south of Tampa. Dozens of counties are under a state of emergency. And keep in mind, crews are still cleaning up after Hurricane Helene hit. That was just two weeks ago. And tonight, Hurricane Milton is roaming as a Category 5 hurricane. Life-threatening storm surges are expected, and it could hit Florida's Gulf Coast as early as Wednesday. Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller here with us now. And Matt, this was just a tropical storm, then quickly yeah. developed into a hurricane. Yeah, it's in an area that's been very favorable for rapid development. Obviously, it's a huge storm as well. It is fairly close to the Yucatan Peninsula, which I think is why we've seen a little bit of positivity. You take a look at some of these numbers uh, right now. It is down just slightly, still Category 5, but it was at 180 mile per hour winds, now 165. And again, that might be just a little bit of interaction with the northern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula, adding some friction in, slowing things down just ever so slightly. The good news is from this point on is we don't expect it to ramp all the way back up to the level it was and maybe even the better news and this isn't great news just better is that it comes down closer to a category four as it's approaching the west coast of florida and should come in toward the tampa bay area at a category three that is um, a lot of times we've seen this happen you go back to older hurricanes like hurricane katrina it was a five then made landfall as a three this one may be a five that comes in as a three as well but like we've seen on a lot of those storms, that will often, while it's as a Category 5, it builds in a huge storm surge, and that doesn't go away. So we still look for 10 to 15 foot storm surge, perhaps around the Tampa or Sarasota area. And then as it crosses over to the Atlantic, it should weaken. And very typical, while storms are raging in that part of the country, we end up with fair weather, clear conditions, just a few passing clouds, temperatures in the 50s, even 49 at Lawrence, 50s and low 60s to the west. We enjoy the quiet weather and will over the next several days. We will start to heat back up a bit. I'll talk about our warming trend for the week still to come.